This is, video is just going to be a uh, quick uh, finals pickup video with some things I've uh, gotten within the last couple of days. And uh, really, uh, up until like last Friday, I hadn't really even bought anything uh, since I actually bought the uh, Division Bell about like two or three weeks ago. So that really wasn't really finding anything. And then uh, I went up to a place that I usually go to a lot, but it's kind of further away, so I don't frequent as much as uh, some other stores. I went up there and I uh, bought actually a decent amount of stuff there. I spent a lot more than I was planning on, but uh, uh, I think I got some pretty good uh, deals and uh, found some a, lot, some a couple albums that I was actually looking for, so that's always good. Uh, the first album I'm going to actually show is uh, I one I actually ordered off Discogs. It actually just came uh, today. I actually haven't even opened it yet. and uh, This is an original uh, 2000 pressing of it, and I actually didn't even know uh, that this came out on vinyl. And, uh, I'm a big wrestling fan, and this is actually the uh, WWF uh, Aggression album. And I'm a, I'm a big wrestling fan, and I, I remember getting the CD when this came, came out, and uh, I always uh, wanted to get the wrestling albums when they came out. And, uh, I was probably uh, probably 9 or 10 when this uh, came out initially, and my dad used to always uh, get the uh, old uh, wrestling. I remember like when WWF The Music Volume 2 came out, and... Uh, came out around my, my seventh birthday and I remember getting uh, with my birthday money a CD player, a portable CD player in that CD. It's, just, it's like I remember uh, always wanting to get the WWF music albums when they came out. And uh, this was no exception. I actually had this album, uh, I had, had this on CD and I actually remember like a year after I bought it or so, uh, I used to be pretty careless when I was a little kid and uh, I had this uh, not in the CD case, and I accidentally dropped something on the actual disc, and the disc uh, shattered. Uh, so all these years later, I actually have it back uh, on vinyl, so that's kind of cool. And I actually just, I never even realized until like last week when I found it on uh, Discogs that it was even available on vinyl. It just kind of happened to be searching for, it's kind of, I was kind of wondering and kind of curious if any of the uh, old WWF uh, music albums were uh, on vinyl, which uh, I didn't think any of them were, but I was surprised that they actually did release this one. And I do think this is an import from uh, England, so I don't know if it ever came out in America or not on vinyl, but uh, definitely uh, definitely hyped to have that. Nothing too spectacular, but it is uh, definitely cool to have it, and it's kind of like having a piece of my childhood back. Uh, the next album I'm going to show is, uh, the next two albums actually I'm going to show is uh, from the same uh, band, and these are uh, two albums that I actually had been looking for. The first one is uh, Sabotage Sirens. This is their first album. These, these guys are just a, a phenomenal band. Uh, they really are. They're just a great band. Uh, they have a great sound, and I don't know if a lot of people know about them or not, but uh, they're like it's like a '80s, early '80s kind of band, and they just have a uh, just a great sound to them. I definitely recommend uh, looking them up if you've never heard of them before. Go into like YouTube and uh, look it up the just the, this entire al album, Sirens, uh, my favorite song off this album is the song called I Believe. It's just a great song. The first time I heard that song, it just like, blew my mind away. But uh, it, is, it is a great song, and I definitely highly recommend uh, listening to these guys and going out there and trying to uh, uh, find their, their albums. It's like one of their albums I've been looking for is uh, Gutter Ballet by them, and uh, hopefully eventually we'll find that one uh, sooner than later. Then I also picked up their uh, first EP, uh, The Dungeons Are Calling. And there's uh, six songs on here. And uh, all, every song on there is just uh, phenomenal. It's great. And it's kind of a nice piece to go along with their first album. But they, they are an absolutely uh, great band, and I do uh, definitely recommend checking them out if you have never heard of them before. Uh, the next one I got is uh, Neil Young. It's uh, Old Ways, and this is a Neil Young country album he uh, put out in... Uh, I want to say 1985, I want to say, but uh, it has uh, Willie Nelson and like Waylon Jennings on some tracks. It's a pretty uh, good uh, Neil Young album. So another one to add to the uh, Neil Young collection. Next, is, I got the I picked up the uh, soundtrack to Imagine, the uh, John Lennon movie, and uh, pretty cool to find this one. It's a uh, gatefold. And then, uh, mostly consists of, uh, John Lennon songs and Beatles songs. It has, a uh, Real Love, Twisted Shout, Help, 
In My Life, Strawberry Fills Forever, A Day in the Life, uh, Revolution, The Ballad of John and Yoko, Julia, Don't Let Me Down, Give Peace a Chance, How, and it's got the uh, rehearsal version of Imagine, uh, God, Mother, Stand By Me, Jealous Guy, Woman, Beautiful Boy, Just Like Starting Over, and the uh, actual Imagine song closes it out. It's a, it's a really uh, great uh, album, uh, so definitely happy to have that one. I'm, I uh, really like the song uh, Real Love. I know the uh, Beatles redid that and released it in like 1994. A little bit different version than what they released on uh, the Anthology. I think it was uh, Anthology 2, I think, is which one that one is on. But uh, it is a really, uh, really cool soundtrack. And then uh, next I got a decent amount of Frank Zappa. And I, this is, I got this at the uh, Shelbyville uh, store, Odds and Ends. And, uh, he actually gave me a pretty good deal on uh, several Frank Zappa albums. Uh, the f records were in phenomenal shape, and unfortunately, some of them got like water damage, like on the bottom right there. But like, luckily, the uh, guy that had them before him had them in these uh, realistic sleeves, and uh, I think I've kind of saved the albums. I've, I've played every album uh, so far, and they all sound uh, phenomenal. No skips, no pops, or anything, and. Uh, this is uh, Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention, One Size Fits All. And then I also got uh, The Mothers, Fillmore East, June 1971. And this is not really like a, uh, this is more like a, uh, like a interview type of, not really an interview type of album, but it's like more like talking and telling of stories and stuff. But uh, it's a pretty cool uh, album and uh, I'm a big fan of the Turtles too, and uh, Mark Wallman and Howard Kalin, who uh, was in the Turtles, uh, they do some of the stuff on there, and they do like a little rendition of Happy Together, and it's kind of neat. And I uh, actually saw those guys uh, last year, uh, Flo and Eddie, uh, or otherwise known as Mark Wallman and Howard uh, Kalin, on their Happy Together tour last year, and it was a really fun concert, and they actually did some other uh, of Invention songs, and uh, I'm actually seeing them again in August, so I'm pretty uh, psyched about that, but uh, I also did get uh, Frank Zappa, The Man from Utopia. Absolutely uh, love the uh, cover to this album. And uh, I was kind of lucky, this one didn't have too much water damage on it, but uh, there's a little bit. And uh, the rec like I said, the records are in phenomenal shape, and if I ever come across the, actually, the cover with a bad album or something, I can always switch it out, too. And uh, it's probably one of my favorite Frank Zappa albums, uh, Mother, or Mother of Invention albums. We're only in it for the money. And uh, I always liked how they kind of spoofed the uh, Sgt. Pepper's cover in the inside there. And this one is on the uh, Verve... Uh, white label. Like, I don't know if that's a uh, promoter label or not. I know the original ones are usually like, blue, so I'm not quite sure on that one. But, uh, really a good album from the Mothers of Invention, nonetheless. And then, uh, the last album I'm going to show is, of course, like I did my Pink Floyd collection video uh, about a week ago, and of course I come across this uh, Pink Floyd uh, The Wall bootleg, the live uh, concert bootleg. And, uh, I was actually listening to this the uh, other day, and it sounds uh, really, really good for a bootleg. I mean, uh, does Candy, like, I don't know how they recorded it, but there's not really a, like, a crap ton of cr crowd noise or anything. But it is a, uh, it is a really a good bootleg from the wall concert. I'm not sure when it's from. Uh, it really doesn't say anything. All it says is Pink Floyd, The Wall, a three-record set. So I'm not uh, exactly sure. Uh, what what year it's from or anything like that, but uh, if anyone has any for information about it, they want to let me know, it'd be cool, but uh, it is a really good bootleg. But, uh, as all the albums I have, uh, hope to have another video up here uh, soon. Thanks again, guys, for watching.